Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Look at Good Nature. My name is Allie. I hope you're having a fantastic morning. I'm not here to show you guys any specific plant. I'm just talking this morning. It's, it's exceptionally early where I am. It's uh, like 6.18 and I've been awake for almost two hours now. Um, I have a kid who's in band and had something to, he had to go to and be there at 5.30 in the morning so they could leave and get to, get to the place that they're going to. Um, it's crazy. They've got a a function on a school day, which is totally unusual. But anyway, I am awake, and I am awake, awake, and I thought that I would take a quick minute and show you guys my plant area. Um, pardon that interruption. I had uh, stomach gas going on. It was very uncomfortable for a minute there, along with some acid. All right, so let me see if I can make this work really well. All right, guys. I don't usually have anybody um, come over. We're, we're not real big on company and things like that. And so most people don't really get to see this area of my house. My daughter calls it the fairy garden. And uh, it's pretty accurate. So let's see if I can get my camera up here without showing you. Um, hopefully too many dead plants because, you know, they happen too. All right, so let me start from entering my area so you enter my area and there's plants to your right and there's plants to your left and so we've got a small monstera our spider plant here and there's a philodendron on the floor and a bunch of hoyas on this table some tiny begonias back there that are probably not going to make it my aloe is making it though. It's actually doing really well. That was a baby that we separated off from, from its mother plant, and it is actually really big. Moon, uh, moonshine. See, it's very moonshine over there. It's a, that was a baby that I separated from a bigger pot as well. Got some philodendron. I've got baskets hanging from my ceiling. All right, now let's see if I can walk into the area without hitting too many things or making too much noise with the wind chime because there is a wind chime right down there there's a dragonfly wind chime all right so it's my nice mass cane and uh it's actually leaning it's kind of crazy it was leaning when i got it and i repotted it and was able to get it to lean less so technically it's at less of an angle than it was before Let's get down in here. I've got little gnomes. There's a little uh, gnome doing yoga, and there's some frogs in there, and mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms. It's a little. There's just a bunch of stuff, a bunch of plants. My other giant uh, aloe, mother aloes. Oh my. A big monstera that's back in there. That's actually a really, really big pot. I, I don't have a good size comparison for anything, but it's a, those are big pots. Um, got some gorgeous marantas. I like prayer plants. I'm not too big on the calatheas. I'm not sure why, but I definitely seem to have a more difficult time taking care of calatheas. Hopefully that's just, I'm a little too neglectful and I, I'll get better at that and better with that but I definitely have already lost one, <laughs> so I'm not terribly worried about getting another one anytime soon. Got the Argerius here, which is doing really, really, really well. Look at how giant those leaves are. I didn't expect them to get that big. I expected them to be more like that size. And, uh, you know, little. I've got my ones that are going down, and they're pretty little. But they are beautiful. It's a very healthy plant. I've, I've given this plant a haircut more than once, made quite a few new pots from it, and it's it just comes right back. Takes it just a tiny bit to get going, and then as soon as it's going, it's really going. It'll be uh, touching the floor before I know it. And the Cebu Blue, which is, seems to be doing really well since I hung it. It didn't seem to like sitting, but once I hung it up, it started to shoot out some new growth. Um, I still have some of these yellowing leaves. I'm going to go ahead and give this guy an extra pest treatment. Maybe some neem oil. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him yet, but it's doing really well. Right, I've got some global, global green pothos right here. The Snow Queen. There is the Anthurium Superbum that I just did a video on. My little Argerius that's right there. With some dabs. And my giant table of crud. <laughs> it never seems to get cleaner. 
But I'm like, ah, it's fine. Here's another. There's a hanging global green pothos. It's not too bad. It's in pretty decent shape. Got this little guy, this little basket here. One of my favorite hanging baskets is this one here. And uh, it's got quite a few different plants in here. And there's actually Pothos and Joy hanging out down there. I've got a Maranta in the center, which is not the same kind as this one. This is a one in mine. The other Maranta on here. I don't actually know which one this is, but it is heavily variegated. And it's not just a single variegation, it's a double variegation. So I have the white variegation. And then I also have yellow, and that is pretty crazy. I got this out of a tiny four-inch pot that was like three to five bucks, and I have managed to get it to this pretty big clump of plant here now. <laughs> and it's doing really well being in that pot with the other plants. So I'm going to leave it in there. I love how it's, its new growth is kind of this red color, and it just with that variegation, with that gorgeous variegation in there. It's so pretty. I hope you guys are having a really, really good morning and you feel good. You have a, a second to say hi to your plants and just have a good morning. Hopefully it's not snowing or raining or if, icky, which I don't even consider rain to be icky. It's raining here today. We need it. We need that rain. Ooh, look at that big, beautiful manju relief. Manjuna, you are beautiful. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Love it. This is a marble queen, not a snow queen. All right, and this is this is much more of a creamy green color than it is a white. This is from the manjula though that I stuck in there. I said sometimes you just take five or six small pots, little bitty teeny tiny pots, and you put them into a, love, a, a nice big hanging pot and you let them just grow. They end up looking really nice. And I did these guys last spring, I think, and they got to spend basically the entire summer outside and they did really, really well. All of these guys had haircuts at the end of the year because they were too long to bring inside. It was just too cumbersome and too much work to try and keep and keep their uh, vines up off the floor and keep the dogs from munching on them or tripping on them or me. I trip just fine. Anyway, you guys have a really good day. Sorry for the shakiness. I hope you have an excellent day today. Thank you for watching.